Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about how you can go on Facebook Live using your pre-recorded videos. So there are certain kind of a conditions or certain occasion that you wanted to showcase your video as a, a live video on the Facebook. So here is a technique like you, by using some couple of softwares and some settings you can do it very easily and it's a free of cost. You just need a couple of minutes to set up the entire thing so first of all you need us you, you have to download the software called obs studio this software is available for the all kind of operating systems it's from the windows mac and the linux so you have to go to the obsproject.com slash download and download the obs software as for your operating system so second software that you require is the vlc player that is a a basic media player available for the majority of operating systems so you can go and the video land.org project and VLC you can google it and check and download the VLC also I will tell you why VLC is required and what are the advantage of uh, using the VLC along with the OBS so to go the live you have to go to your Facebook page first and in the Facebook page you have to click on the live video so you see this icon as a live video I click over there then I just went over here and I had to go for the use stream key so use stream key once I landed to this page you can see there is a stream setup tab in that there is a use stream key so I have to generate a stream key which I'm going to use in the OBS software so this is the stream key so let's go to the OBS software so this is the setup of OBS so before we start and uh, include our video in that let me show you the few of the settings so first of all once you open the OBS you have to go and make a Facebook live settings so for that go to the setting page of OBS and there is a tab called the stream in the stream section you have to go and select the Facebook live server as a default and the stream key so you can see this is the stream key and I wanted to generate the stream key here is a stream key that you can get it by following the earlier step so I just copy the stream key and I'm going to paste it here and click on the OK so now we are good to connect with the OBS and the Facebook so the connection between the OBS and Facebook is successful now thing is from the OBS we have to send the input as a video file to the Facebook so how to do that so there is a setting called in the source section you have to go and add click on the add option so as as you know like we install the VLC player in the VLC if you install the VLC player then OBS will show you VLC video source so click on that create new VLC video source you can say I did that now here is the advantage of using the VLC you can add uh, multiple videos in this particular playlist right if you go with uh, another option let me show you the another option that is the media output you can do it using the media source also but here you have a ability to push only the single file to do the broadcasting right so VLC has an added advantage you can choose a multiple files to go live using the Facebook so these are the all the pre-recorded file so here I'm going to add file so I go to my movie section and you can see I'm going to add Sean Stevenson in my this video the first video I can add is my video the second video I'm going to add is the Sean's video okay so you have a visibility behavior like stop when not visible or start pause when not visible so these are the options about the OBS software window 
whenever your window is not visible it will stop playing the video if the windows is visible or it's like um, you can always make it sure like you can put it uh, on the playing list itself so these are the option you can get it easily so so I'm going to select the first one now you can see my video is started here you can see the VLC video source so audio is also playing and everything and I mute my microphone so that my video will not go now in the viewport section you have to adjust the viewport because of a uh, aspect ratio so my this video is right now is playing in the OBS and I wanted to stream this current playing video to the Facebook as we already connected OBS with the Facebook so to do that we already set up a Facebook and the OBS connection by including the stream key from the Facebook and included in the OBS software now we are good to go we just have to click on the start streaming option this is a button that you have to key now you can see at the bottom of this it showcase our streaming is started so to confirm that your streaming is started we have to go to the same tab that we open now you can see here my streaming is going on here you can see let me understand that we are willing to do that's my lesson lot so today i'm going to discuss about few life hacks how you can do the amazing things by looking into the, your portfolio probably you can uh, do the, some simple life hack tricks which will help you to get into the right job first is guys you should join the internships internship programs help you do graduation to know the So using this way you can try to do some kind of a tweaks that you can easily do the streaming so there are many options in the setup like you can use this persistent streaming key that is also the another option that you can do it or you can set up and the stream your broadcast on your pages that you manage by just looking into the left panel which show like share on your timeline share on the page that you manage if I wanted to share it on my page managing that I just have to select that page uh, the Facebook is refreshing yes yeah. so I have a couple of pages that was managed by myself here you can see so you can go live on your page directly once you do with the page then there are a couple of settings it can show you the stream settings you can embed the code also if you want to do it uh, in the some third party websites if you're having some website you can use this iframe code to do it and there is an option like you can create a, a light tab on your page so you can see like it can include the light tab in your page so that people can come to know so as I'm not going live I'm just skipping it as off All right so tab is successfully removed then here you can clip your live and again part is the audience setting there are a lot of things that uh, it is a uh, uh, your choice what kind of audience will able to see this video there are some restrictions of locations and there are many factors that you can easily configure it here you can create a, a real-time poll also if you want like if you are doing some videos and all you want the opinion of others to be showcased here you can write a question how you search job during covid so option one online option one community referral or referral so you can get a lot of options here so you can put a lot of options here so this poll will get created 
once you publish that once you go live properly when you click here a go live button like for that you have to feel all these things so i'm not doing it right now this poll will go accordingly when you go and if somebody is having a question you can add the questions on that there are multiple settings that you can do it easily guys so for this i'm just going to set up a stream setup i'm going to change the key so just to give it the recap guys i'm just going to change the key now i have to stop the streaming because the streaming is already going on my personal page like not a page it's my personal profile so i'm just stopping it and i want to get it on my the page that is education for democracy i went to the settings just go and change the api key okay now i'm going to start the streaming now you can see the streaming is started and here we are going to see connect with so the connection is getting established over here you see yeah it is started right now so you can see of event logs also in this particular section so you can do a lot of settings accordingly so this is a very easy way guys so you just need two softwares like OBS and then VLC player and you have to just go to your Facebook go live settings take a stream the user stream key use it in your OBS and the VLC part where did it go guys this is very easy way so I'm going to stop this streaming you can see the streaming will get stopped but then you keep going on so it is going to get stopped yeah it's now asking waiting for the live video it is as easy as possible if you guys have any questions or the query related to this please feel free to ask me in the comment section if you like this video please share with your friends and family I'm happy to receive your feedback about this video or any kind of a query so don't forget to subscribe my channel and have a great day guys. See you in the next video.